I decided that I should go ahead and quit the last broadcast where I was at and resume it over here. Uh, once I did, I got a failed issue thing three times in a row, which is kind of frustrating. Anyhow, I just ADS this, get this system. I am not going to target the star. I'm going to scoop some fuel, align myself with my next system, and keep the jumping going home. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this whole port, which is uh, evaluating the data once I get back into system and uh, show you all how that turned out. That is our goal. So, thanks for the ride. We're approximately six jumps out from home. Now again, the old way that this would used to work is that I would ADS blast a system and all of the tags would be in there. So I could replot the path that I would take from my home system to either of my two target systems and every system and every object should be tagged with my name unless you have to use a detailed surface scan. Which I'm kind of thinking is how the game changed to with the release of this particular build. And that is what we're going to try to find out. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameship drive charging. And there we go. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. System was quieter than normal. Yes. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Three more jumps. Five minute mark in our broadcast.
Now one of the things you guys will notice as you continue to watch this broadcast is that most of these stars that I'm going by have a decent number of objects in their systems. Um, some have had in their 40s or 50s, some just under a dozen, uh, most more than one to three, which I believe is the range that both of my target systems were at. So what we're going to see when we turn these in is that the ADS, my hypothesis, the ADS will make it so that all of the objects will be discovered and enumerated, including the ones that we're not going to get any money for, like asteroid fields. But if we don't run the DDS on things, not only is the value going to be lower, but we're also not going to receive tags for first discovered by. Now, I like this change if this is the way it is, because it means that the ones that actually do the legwork in the exploration field uh, that are out there and trying to find new planets and habitable systems, terraforming, everything else, they're going to be the ones that get the bulk of the reward from exploring, and it's going to make the people that want to just blitz a system to throw their name on some tags out there a little more discouraged because they're going to realize there's not a lot of profit in that, and also that that method isn't going to work, and it's going to require significant more time investment than they were thinking previously. Um, that would be cool by me, actually, because I would like to see the people's names out there be my fellow explorers, the ones that do have a passion for it and get as much excitement out of seeing astronomical anomalies and the pairings of different stars and stuff as I do. That would be fantastic to help them out, get them a little more reward uh, in the game, uh, some notoriety and some profit for their work. So, you know, one of the few problems about this particular system is it's got a little bit of a distance to go before I get over there. Hopefully can make this as quick as possible, though. Coming up on eight minutes. For those that didn't already know, this is my home system for now. Uh, I like it because I'm trying to do some mining on this particular planet and it's nice and close. Hopefully be upgrading my mining and trading ship soon. Get a little more liquid assets. And not doing this particular run for science and not money. Docking computer take over. 
past our 10 minute mark. All right. So what we're going to do while we're doing this, it would have been actually a little bit better if I had gotten this started ahead of time, because we're going to navigate to a Galaxy Map, Target System, which was... I guess I sector in my I'll be so thankful when the chat pad comes out and I T Charlie three dash there. Plot of course. Notice it's got the system map available. We're going to go back to Universal Cartographics. And here we see the cell page for 119,000. At the top of the list is HIP 109042 with detailed surface scans. And under that are all the other systems. Notice that of all the systems that I've been in, none of them have detailed surface scans. So here's our target system right here. There's a detailed surface scan of the actual star, but not the other three stars that are in that system. Notice the low amount coming in for it. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And it gives me first to discover a star, but not the other three. Close that window out. Now let's check on HIP. Remember on the HIP one, this is the one that we did do a detailed surface scan on all three of them. We confirm. And I'm first to discover all three. But remember, I did blast everything with the advanced discovery scanner. So let's take a look at that one more time. Go over to here. We take a look. Now that we've turned the data in, and we see my name on the one that I run the detailed surface scan, but not the other three. Conversely, if we go over to HIP here. And take a look at it we see that I have tagged all three of the stars in the system. That's basically what my conjecture was from the other night after my quick run through the Pleiades. I appreciate you guys for watching this and hope that this learn, you learned something from this broadcast and can apply it in your own explorations. Uh, and I hope to see